Hey guys, Mr. Dolly. This is going to be a little shaky video because I'm doing it all handheld on my phone here. Um, I have this big tabletop or countertop or whatever you want to call it. It's seven and a half feet long by two feet wide. And I need to rebuild the gun bench because I don't have one now. I had one before. Very nice, but my reloading bench was very small. <laughs> it didn't hold the two presses that I had on it, and I'm adding a third press. So my reloading bench is now eight feet long, and my current leather working bench is six and a half feet long. I'm going with a seven and a half foot, but it's a heavier duty top. Uh, it's not just a piece of plywood on the top, but I'm building the frame the same way. So I thought I'd show you a little bit. I got all the pieces cut right now. So it's pretty much just a matter of screwing everything together. Uh, and I'm using what are they, three inch, three inch deck screws. So it'll hold it together just fine. Uh, when I put the legs on it, those will get bolted in. Uh, I may have to run to the hardware store for that. But I'm gonna do up the top while I'm up here in the garage. And uh, we'll go from there. The chops off. Again, I don't know if you can use a Quantum Pro by Black & Decker. I've had that for so long it ain't even funny. Oh, looks like the wind is taking care of the, some of the sawdust on the wife's car. We just, uh, my daughter gave us this. She got a new car, or a different car. So this is a new to us. It's a 2006 Chrysler Pacifica. And we're just using it. So as far as the bench, I have pieces here, the two ends, and four braces. Some of this lumber is, uh, it was nailed down in shipping containers and, well, you know what, it's still okay. It's not great, it'll work good for braces. I have the two long pieces cut, and that's the top. So, it's uh, an inch inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick. So, I did cut uh, my 2 by 4 6 inches shorter than the top. because I don't want the 2 by 4s going all the way to the end. I'm going to have a light or a power strip underneath and I want to cover any of that crap up. Just so it doesn't get banged up or anything. So, I'll clear off my table here. There goes Sally hiding behind the car. Sally! Sally! Come say hi to everybody! Must be something over there she wants. Oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> we'll be back. Alright, let's see if I can back up a little bit here. This is the one end. The other end is going to be the same, but my table's too short. So this will get, get screwed on. The next one is 17 inches. And then it's 17 inches to the next one. And it's 16 inches between the two middle ones. That's okay. Sally's walking around. She's going to get all tangled up in here. She's kind of a dumb dog. That's okay. We still love her. Kind of a rescue. Sniffing at everything. No old box of bread here yet. <laughs> stays cool. Stays fresher in the, out in the garage. So, I want to start screwing it together. We'll be back. Well, that's how I build my benches. That's the framework that goes underneath the top, and that's why half inch plywood is usually plenty strong. Um, like I said, my reloading bench is inch, two pieces of uh, half inch screwed together and glued. <laughs> I may get some glue to glue the top on here, but otherwise it's just going to be a couple of angle brackets holding the top on. So, I ate this downstairs. And, uh, sun's going low. I might not even get to this till tomorrow. So we'll be back. So these are the little L brackets that I'm going to use to attach the frame of the bench to the top. I'll show you the top of the top. You'll see that later. <laughs> that was heavy. I think that weighs probably right around 100 pounds. Um, it's all pressed board and I don't know, it's really freaking heavy. So these are the L brackets. I'm just gonna, there'll be one on each end, 
and three along the front and three along the back. I think that'll be enough. But we'll know soon enough, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach this and uh, see where we get from there. So, we'll be back in a minute. Will go anywhere, but we'll see. We may need to go with bigger ones or more of them or something, but we'll see where we get. All right, the legs are on, everything's fastened to the top. I just have to uh, try to enlist the assistance of Mrs. Tully to uh, give me a hand getting it off the uh, sawhorses and upright and in position. So, hopefully she's not too mad at me today. I seem to piss people off on a normal basis. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. My wife's awesome. So, uh, so let me howl down for her. I won't be filming that. She doesn't like to be on camera. So, we'll get her flipped over and we'll be back. Well, aside from my uh, can of chewing away there, Here's the bench. It is severely out of level. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing now. That's why it's only assembled with screws right now and all the legs. There's a lot of screws in the legs, but that's all it's holding them in there is some screws. So I'm going to start. I kind of got that leveled a little. And something like this is just, it's so long that you kind of got to take it in steps. So that's kind of leveled on the other end. On the, that end. I'm going to level this end as much as I can. Just loosen up the screws, lift it, drop the legs down, repeat. <laughs> Got my little uh, clamps here to hold everything. So I'm going to get to her before I get too carried away. There it is. There she be. You do have to put some uh, supports running across the legs this way. Just one of them things that I uh, couldn't do until I had it leveled. Not a big deal. We'll get them stuck on there too. And that'll be leveled with the top so that everything, the, sh the shelf underneath, will be level too that way. <laughs> you know, because. It's kind of got to be. So, that's kind of it for now. Um, I'm going to take my power strip off the old bench, which I just kind of moved back. After I get uh, more situated here, I'll be putting, I don't know, hanging something back there for a wall. Just to kind of block things off. And uh, this will be more confined of a little, in my little area. But, uh, you know, because right now, everything's wide open. Not a lot of crap in my basement. I do have to uh, repaint that wall. But, the back piece that is on my leather bench, the other bench, is going to get taken off and put on this bench. So, because it's a good size. Um, and it's just six screws that hold that on. So, six screws off, six screws on, done and done. Um, that's why I left a little I left a little overhang on the front because I'm planning on putting some drawers underneath um, in one or two places. Uh, drill press, courtesy of Brian McCown, is going to get mounted in that vicinity, not exactly there. It'll come in about a foot and a half, and, you know, but it'll leave me, it'll be more comfortable this way, I think. So, I'm going to move, probably going to switch that back around. Keep going here. We'll show you more as it goes. Well, there's the leather bench. 
I think that's going to work out pretty nice. I'll get my, uh, down there, I have to put some cross bracing across the legs and across the back side there. I'll get that done tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I'll even put a shelf on the bottom there. It, I don't put a wide shelf, it's just a, usually I use like a, I don't know, a 2x8, 2x10, whatever I can find laying around. And that will be the end of that. Uh, that bench will be done. Done and done. And I will be quite pleased with it, I'm sure. Uh, let's move a little. My reloading bench, I'll get all my crap cleared off, get all the stuff in the corner there put away. Everything put away and organized on my reloading bench. I've got all the gun stuff up there. I actually have guns across the top of it because I have to get my cabinet put together. Uh, which I don't know where I'm going to put that yet, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, I have one, so it's just a matter of getting a lock on it, putting a base under it. And the, I only put a base under it just to keep it up off the ground a little bit in case. I've always gotten a little bit of seepage in my basement. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I'm right by a floor drain here. As a matter of fact, the camera's almost on top of it. But the gun bench is going to come right out here, right out this way, and kind of block in my little area there. Uh, my grandkids come down to the basement and play, so I'm going to, you know, kind of close that off a little more, reduce some of the temptation. <laughs> They're all, they're all really good about leaving my stuff alone, but, you know, that uh, chest down there, some of, some of the old Navy and Marine guys might know what that is. Um, that's a, like a collapsible footlocker. It folds up to about two inches thick and can go into storage. Uh, it's really kind of kind of neat. It's a pretty cool little chest, little cabinet. Um, and it's got pins in there that hold it together. I just built a little cart to go under it. Something I did, just real whipped it together yesterday real quick. And uh, stored my brass in there. I could probably store my gunpowder and stuff in there too. Um, so, you know, it's one of them things. Anyway, try to get all this project, bench projects finished and get my wife's laundry table back to her, her laundry bench, so she can put her stuff on the bench. It's sitting on the floor right now. I'm sure she's not happy about that. I'll get it back to her and we'll all be good, I hope. Anyway, about 8 o'clock tonight, 8.30, something like that. I'm going to go to bed. Y'all stay safe and God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.